Hi everyone, it's Mr. Vance here and today I'm going to walk you through how to draw little cuddly cute little animals. Uh, the book breaks it down into three steps. One, two, three, and right here one, two, three. But I think that um, if I really look at it, I can break it down into more steps. And I'm going to go over those with you. So uh, we're going to go draw the head and the body. We're going to erase the, uh, we're going to draw the arms, legs, and ears. Uh, then we're going to erase parts of the drawing wherever there is overlapping. And we're, then we're going to draw some more little details like the eyes, nose, mouth, and some fur. Uh, basically, after this, uh, we're going to add a background or draw a horizon line. Uh, just to make it feel like the animal is uh, sitting somewhere or uh, hanging out. We, uh, If you look at the book... Um, one side it looks like he's hanging out with his little kid and the other side it looks like they're both just floating so sometimes you have to add just a little bit to your drawing to make it feel more realistic even though uh, it's basically a little cartoon drawing so um, before I get to the steps uh, I just want to remind everyone that's watching the video that when you draw how to guide uh, if you use a how-to guidebook or if you're drawing using steps I, you need to draw lightly in the beginning because you're gonna have to erase uh, some of the drawings in order to uh, make it look like like the arm or uh, if it's like the ears uh, it's easier to draw out the shapes and then erase uh, and because uh, it breaks it down in a way that uh, allows you to practice over and over and get to know the shapes of the animal that will go ahead and give you a better understanding of uh, like wh why the arms are sitting where they are or um, even just how to stylize the tail a little differently it, it, or if you find a better way to draw the shapes um, you're allowed to but uh, some of the kids that turned in work I want to remind you that uh, we're going you have to uh, draw this a bunch of times I've seen kids draw it like maybe once on a, on a piece of paper uh, I know paper is scarce uh, it's not easy to get supplies that's why uh, we really want to appreciate our art classroom because that's all sitting in there waiting for us but in this time right now uh, try to use the paper as much as you can by drawing multiple uh, versions of the same little animal I know you're gonna be like oh I don't want to do all that drawing. It hurts my hands. Why do we got to do this? But it's just so that you can get good at drawing uh, the shape of this little guy. Um, if you draw it enough times, you can remember how to draw him without even looking at the book anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and try to do that right now. So now I'm going to follow the steps uh, listed out. Uh, and the first step is to draw the head and the body. When I look at the book, I notice that the head looks like a football and the body looks like an oval. Whenever I'm drawing from a how-to book, I try to look at the shapes that they're drawing and think about shapes I already know how to draw. It makes it a lot easier to get through the steps. So now I'm gonna spend a few minutes going over, um, just drawing and going over a couple of things as I see it. So before I do that though, I wanna point out that when you are drawing shapes that you under, that you know already you know a lot of shapes uh, in the form of letters so the letter D the letter V a flat letter U another D a, a little half uh, of an M so these th uh, right here looks like a triangle so uh, a curved triangle so you can go ahead and look at this picture for a little while and say, oh, I see where that looks like a circle or I see where that looks like an oval. That looks like a little uh, a letter or a number. And you can do that um, as many times as you need to to get through this. So step one is to draw the head and the body. Step two is to draw the arms, legs, and the ears. So I'm going to draw this little letter D that I saw. The letter V. And the letter U. Add a leg and a foot. 
foot. Add this little hip of the leg and another little curve shape that goes around and up. Now, I'm not worried too much of how it looks yet because it's just the f I haven't drawn this a lot and I don't um, I don't feel too attached to it. So I, it, that means like I don't um, I'm not gonna worry if it's a uh, good drawing or bad drawing yet because I'm gonna draw this a couple more times and it's gonna get better. So I erase there. Now it looks like the arm is overlapping or on top of the other part. And I'm going to erase this line right here to make it look like the leg is connected. Now it looks a little strange because I didn't have this curvy part here. But I could always go back in and draw uh, again and again and again. So now, um, step three, I already did. Erase parts of the drawing that wherever there is overlapping. And I'm part step three is on there because this is the first time I'm making the video. But step three can be any time you need to make it look more realistic. You can erase, you could erase this up here or you could erase that up there. But I don't want to get too hung up on erasing because I'm drawing right now and for me, that means I'm adding lines. Um, taking a line away is part of it, but we want to get something on the paper first. Then we can make decisions later, or we can even redraw it later. But I don't want to draw a couple lines and get stuck into it and then go right to my eraser and then spend 10 minutes erasing. We can just uh, avoid all of that right now and just skip that and only erase every three steps or every every once in a while so that's why I put it at step three but to draw uh, now I'm gonna go to step four is gonna draw all the little details like the eyes nose and ear uh, and the mouth and the fur but uh, I also need to draw this tail circles and little circles this looks like the letter V to make this it looks like a little mask but then this little oval for the nose then you go down and make this little shape that looks like a, another letter letter U so I'm just gonna spend my time I forgot to draw the ears, but that's okay. That's a good example of how I um, can go back in and erase after I get stuff onto the paper. Wasn't too worried about every step by step, but mostly just to show you that you can go over this a lot of times until you feel like you got it just right. So now that it looks like a little bit of a scribble scrabble, but I don't want to go too far. Toes. Now I'm just going to shade this in. And I'm just going to go back and forth checking to see
and that's the raccoon. Um, now I'm going to draw the baby. So I haven't done this at all. And I want to go ahead and just follow the same steps. Alright, so I have this done. Alright, so I have this done, but it just looks like a bunch of practice. So now I want to draw it one more time and add a background. So this is the part a lot of people don't want to do is, oh, I did all this drawing, but now, now I'm supposed to get credit for it or something. And yeah, for a grade in school, you can do that. But if you want to be an artist, you have to do this next part is to start over. I've been practicing these shapes for a little while now. I can go ahead, zoom back out this camera so that you can see. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and draw this a lot bigger. But I know how to draw it already.
And then I'm just shading, adding color, darkness with my pencil. I don't want to rush this part too much because it makes it the final little details make this little creature come alive. And if I have to, I'll just go over it again. Now I gotta add all this little detail. Make it look like a fairy tail. Um, do these little scratches. Make it look like it's a zephyr. He or she might be a mom. And then I gotta draw the baby. Same little steps, little circle. So yeah, I gotta do some erasing. It's just where the parts that make it seem like the uh, like the legs are on top, or anywhere that's overlapping, uh, the part that's supposed to be closest to you. So now some details. And the final little piece. So I just draw this little line right here across the whole picture. It makes it look like they're sitting or standing on some ground. Now in the book, they have these flowers, leaves, mushrooms. Hey, very creative. I like it. You can do pretty much anything you want in the background. Now this one's nature right here. But if you wanted to draw a building. Or whatever. Feel free. Have fun. And enjoy.